Hello, Mike here. And uh, Tony here. And welcome to the Think to Thrive channel. How are you doing? Great to have you back. And we're here again, speaking, just sharing our thoughts and uh, our insights on how you can really start thinking to thrive and start living a life that you know you desire and you know you deserve. So how have you been, Tom? I've been awesome, thank you very yeah, much, yeah. right? Yeah, all good, yeah, <laughs> as usual. Uh, great to be with you again, everybody. And um, yeah, we're ready to uh, share some, some tips we think make a difference to to your life, your, your daily life, in, in terms of thriving, so. Yeah, so what um, do you think will help our viewers, our channel watchers today, in terms of uh, helping them to think to thrive and what sort of practices that you have found that's benefited you? Well, um, I think first of all, a lot of people when they think about thriving, it's a big deal. Yeah. They've got to make massive change, you've got to go to the gym every day, and I have to change my diet, oh it's too big. But what I'm really interested in is about the small changes you can do on a daily basis that are all around you. Okay, okay. so what sort of things do so, you do, do, do or practices that you well, have found, uh, found beneficial? I do go for a run uh, yeah. every other day now. Not very fast, just, just gentle jogging, but I'm outside and yeah. that's the most important thing. But okay, when I'm outside, I'm using that as an opportunity to develop one particular skill which will help you thrive, will help you feel more in tune and uh, invigorated. So what, what would you like to <laughs> I will <laughs> elaborate, share. yes. Uh, here I'll we go. Elaborate. So, I'm not so Mike, here we are. It's the letters A W E, or okay. Now, when I say I'm in awe, uh, we, do, we don't necessarily need to go uh, and fly over to America and stand at the, the Golden Gate Bridge and say, "Wow, I'm in awe." You could do, but we're lo we're looking at the awe that's all around us now. Because remember, we're trying to give you tips that you can fit into your everyday life. That's simple to make a change, gradual change. So, awe. Now, awe stands for appreciation or appreciate wonder everywhere so they're the letters a w e appreciate wonder everywhere so what do i mean by that well first of all mike when i was at school um this is one of my drawings that i did when i was at school okay now a lot of people think that to be an artist or to be a good artist you've got to be really good using a pencil and that is important but the most important skill is the act of observation it's how you're looking really carefully at what's around you and then putting that on paper, okay? So, so very detailed picture, very detailed there, picture yeah. but I was very much in awe, but also looking very carefully what's in front of me there, okay? So it's a bit, so the way that we're gonna describe this, Mike, is a bit like this. We have lenses on our eyes and we, we're looking at the world all around us. What I'm gonna talk about now is how you can change that lens, okay? You're changing that lens and maybe looking at things slightly different because the, when you change the way you look at things, as the great Wayne Dyer said, the, the things we look at, they change. So, or, so I'm gonna give everybody, uh, and uh, Mike and everybody else here, uh, 10 top tips for how to create more that or in your daily life that will impact your vitality, your ability to think clearer and just feel Better, you know, just that's what that's what the Think to Thrive program is all about, thriving. So, number one tip: go outside. Now, you don't have to go for a jog; you can go for a brisk walk. But just get out of the house first of all. That's the most important thing. You'd be amazed being trapped indoors, just how that infects the brain with cobwebs yeah. and dust. We want to blow that out. Get outside in the fresh air. Yeah, Mike's a great, great. I know Mike totally gets that. I get that. It's very important every day to get outside. We'll talk a bit more about that soon. Tip number one, as you go outside and you're walking, just calm the mind and start to look around you at the things that represent awe that are so simple. For example, I was out running this morning, Mike, and I, I was out running, calmed down a bit, just gentle jog, and I saw all these golden leaves on the floor because it's autumn, and I thought, wow, they're amazing, but there's thousands of them and they were beautiful, and I thought those leaves have been up all summer creating photosynthesis on a tree. They've been created because they came out of yeah, out of the, the uh, branches of the tree. Now they've fallen, and now I'm running all over them, and they become that mush, you know, that sort of slippery mush, and then they turn into soil, which then will power another tree to maybe grow, all, and I thought, wow, and that's my moment of awe. It's a process. That's not complicated, is it, Mike? Uh, 
just recognizing and remembering where you are, thinking it's actually all around us, but taking the time yeah. out to actually yeah. look and see it. I was with Mike, everybody, once, and we were in Germany, and we were at the Mercedes Benz uh, showroom at the, at the uh, museum. And Mike sat in one of the, car, the cars, and he taught me this great affirmation. <sighs> Beauty in front of me. <laughs> Beauty to the right of me. Beauty behind me beauty to the left of me. That's a great tool for you to take away to create or just stop. It could be anything. So first of all, uh, just stopping and looking at some, find something simple that you can find awe in. And here's the benefits. Number one, you will refocus and take your mind off worry. Just for a few split seconds, you'll become more mindful and present. That in itself is worth yeah, that's Wow, that's huge. So you just become very present, you refocus. Two, you will change the chemical composition of your brain for those those seconds. You will. You, you, you will because you're just focusing on awe. Three, you will gain inspiration by being outdoors and finding awe. Because when you find awe, you can't help but be inspired. And you might get an idea. In fact, I had an idea this morning when I was looking at those leads. Number four, clarity. You'll develop more clarity in your thinking and approach. Number five, you'll reflect, you'll find a little bit of time to reflect, but ultimately bring that reflection down to, I'm okay, I'm all right, I'm doing okay, all's good, all's good, I'm okay, and you'll be kinder on yourself. Number six, you'll have a greater desire to converse that experience with people that you meet afterwards. So when you go back to the office after walking around the park at work, or you go back to see your partner after you've been through, you have a greater desire to connect and converse. And they're so subtle, these changes, but they add it up, they make a huge change. Number seven, you'll, you'll feel more alive and more in tune with what's around you rather than what's going on inside you that might be pulling you back. Number eight, you'll go home with increased purpose and focus. You will, you'll go back and you think, right, crack on with us now, <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Number nine, you'll have a greater desire to connect with people around you. You might share that experience, but you'll just feel more connected with, with other human beings around you. And number 10, which is probably the most important one, you will develop gratitude in that moment. And gratitude is a great secret to life. So they are my 10 top tips for finding everyday awe to help you thrive. So they've impacted and they're something that you feel that you're doing more readily now that you've been out practicing awe. Mike, am I buzzing? Yeah, sorry. I'm buzzing <laughs> everybody, I'm right, buzzing. Like, the normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buzzing, yeah. but uh, in fact I have to be careful I don't electrocute myself by drinking water. <laughs> but, um, hmm. Because it's important for people to think, see that it's not just lip service. These things will actually come to pass when they are out practicing art. And they don't necessarily have to be out. Is that correct? They could be doing that. Oh, you could. You yeah. could do it. But I do think there's an advantage. Yeah, when outside. you step out, that's where that expression comes from. I stepped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stepped up to the, the to the game. I stepped up to the challenge. Mm. It's that. Actually making that yeah. point of saying I'm going out. As the Quakers say, you know, when you pray, move your feet at the same time. It's go out and do. I, I, there's something we are connected to the outside world. That's where we started off as human beings. So I think we should step back into that to reconnect with, yeah, with that. Well, in there. We speak about that often um, in terms of the benefits of being outside and all the benefits that it brings, both physically and mentally. And obviously, you could argue most importantly spiritually as well. So we're over whoever and wherever you are. Make a point of you know getting outside because obviously you can practice it all inside. But obviously, the benefits are ten times when you're doing it and fine, outside as well. It, finally, Mike, to to add on to these top tips, just just to help people understand this, is that you make you have to make the decision first. That you're going to create change in your day. Right, but it doesn't need to be complicated, and that's the great secret to life. You decide, I want to feel better, I choose to change how I'm being. Mm. All right, and that's where it all starts. It doesn't matter whether you're looking at leaves or dogs. I mean, I was patting a dog last week, a, a lovely dog I met, a lab, a labrapoodle. It was a, but it gave me, I just thought, wow, you know, so you can choose anything. Um, 
that's not the case. It, it, it's the, it's that bit before that you say right, okay, you know, and step out. Yeah. All right, guys, that is a quick insight for us there. How you can benefit from being in oh Now, I hope you found that video of value. But I want you to do something for me. I want you to leave us a comment down below. Write and share with us how you intend to find or what sort of things are you going to do moving forward that's going to help to inspire you to seek all in your everyday life and when you're going outside leave us a comment below and remember if you've not subscribed to the channel click the subscribe button now so when we upload new fresh videos each week you will not miss out okay until next time my friend be successful for myself mike and my friend tony to your, your success, success.